Hello everyone, welcome to Desert Succulent. Today we're gonna be talking about mealybugs and they usually look like a white cottony substance that can grow on any plant such as our succulents. We can easily see them but most of the times our mealybugs are good at hiding and we really need to check on our plants from time to time even if na there are no visible signs nga sa pinakataas. I have here our Graptoviria debi and it's heavily infested with this mealybugs. I guess when I first noticed that there is a mealybug on the succulent, I decided to just wait and let them breed for a while so that we can easily see and check how these infestations could affect our succulents. The very first indication that there is a mealybug infestation on your succulent is that you would see some misshapen or deformed leaves. So this is how a normal leaf would look like but in this case, we have this one na talagang na deformed na siya. It's not symmetrical as compared to the older leaves. If we won't be removing these mealybugs on our succulents, they could end up being like this. Ayan. So this one is our neon breaker. It was very healthy before but as time goes by, it will slowly kill our plant and would end up into something like this. If we have noticed that there is a mealybug on our succulent, we have to isolate it right away so that they won't be spreading to our nearby succulents. There are three possible ways on how we can remove these mealybugs. Una nga dyan is by using a needle or a stick like this. Yung ating mga needles kasi I think they are too sharp for our succulents and we might end up poking or injuring our succulent leaves and therefore I don't want to use that but instead I'm just gonna be using this kind of wooden stick in our country we call this as our walisting thing ayan you can make use of this for example there's just one or two of them then you can just simply make use of this method you can just simply manually remove them so let's try to get this one Ayan. So this is how our mealybug would look like. Let's try to get one more. Like this, there's a lot of them. Ayan, no? There are possible eggs already here. Ayan, no? You can try this method but definitely it would take time. Especially if you really have a lot of mealybugs on your succulents already. If you're looking for a more effective way and an immediate solution to kill these mealybugs, you can make use of 70% isopropyl alcohol. Ayan. This is readily available and it's not expensive as well, kaya you can always make use of these. And we can just simply spray it to the areas where our mealybugs are found. So this is how it would look like after spraying alcohol on them. Our alcohol would now completely evaporate in just a few minutes and by the time it evaporates, our mealybugs should be dead. So up close, we have 4 mealybugs here and let's try to spray the 70% isopropyl alcohol and see what happens. After application, you would notice that the white cottony substance turn into this parang brownish na color and these immediately would kill our mealybugs. This kind of method works best in most of our succulents but you have to be extra careful kasi sometimes our isopropyl alcohol would now burn our succulents and before doing this one, you have to try it first on a part of the leaf and wait for several minutes to check whether or not it won't burn our succulents. The second disadvantage of using these isopropyl alcohol is that even if that our mealybugs are already dead, still they won't disappear. They will just remain there unless we would be removing it. In order for us to remove these dead mealybugs, we have to wash it off with a strong stream of water. And it now leads us to the third way of removing mealybugs on our succulents and it's probably one of my favorite. I seldom use 70% isopropyl alcohol on my succulents but I prefer washing them off using our water. Third way and one of my favorite is the use 
of water but I'm not gonna be using our faucet here we're not gonna be using that but instead we're gonna be using a pressure sprayer like this because we need the pressure to get rid of all of the succulents hiding in between its leaves and this is probably one of my favorite way it's one of the most effective as well we can just simply do this so make sure that the pressure is just enough to get rid of those succulents not too strong and not too weak you just have to make sure that if you're gonna be doing this method it's supposed to be outside of your garden or away from your plants in order for us to avoid the mealybugs from transferring from this succulent to another succulent and that's all thank you guys for watching don't forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel you may also visit our facebook page a desert succulent ph